Um, I am gonna try to show you how to machine embroidery, how to do machine embroidery. And what you need is of course a machine, a sewing machine, just a normal one, and some fabric and some hoops. That's the most important things. Um, we've got two different kinds of hoops. Uh, this wooden one, I've put it on already, it's got a bigger hoop and a smaller hoop with a thingy, screw. Is usually for hand embroidery, but you can use this if you want to make smaller pieces, so then you don't have to move it around because it's a bit difficult. This hoop is specially designed for machine embroidery because you can just take this out. It's the same principle, but you put this under your motif and you just suspend it like this. I guess that's what you call it. You see, it's stabilized just like this one um, and what you can see here is water soluble stabilizer you can buy it in meters or yards or whatever you use uh, it's it's very good to use if you're embroidering on jersey or other stretch fabric because it'll just be really weird if you don't this use the stabilizer Um, let's look at my old sewing machine first. It's just a plain old sewing machine bought in a supermarket and that's probably what most people have. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, prepare it for embroidery. You, first of all, remove this normal foot thing. Excuse the dust and all. Um, and the needle is ready. Usually we use these top stitch needles for embroidery because they have a bigger hole it's just easier because then the thread won't break so easily and then we want to remove or disable this transporter and in this machine I go under the to the bobbin place and it's a thingamabob here that you remove and put here now it's gone now it won't go up while you sew Da -da -da -da. Right, now that part is ready and what you want to do now is adjust, oh sorry, the tension, you want it to be around one or two, just really low tension. And the last thing is width, but we'll play around with that later. And this is my new sewing machine which I'm really happy for. And I have an embroidery foot here. Uh, which I will use because it's just fancy pantsy or something <laughs> but I have to remove this under transporter thing too and I'll do it like this Ta -da! and I have put a top stitch needle in and I'm gonna adjust the tension to around one and a half and we're gonna start off with a straight stitch and so right let's embroider or however you say it. Uh, I'm just gonna make some, some doodles with a straight stitch to start with. First off, put the needle down once, take it up again, and try to get this bobbin thread up so you have some more control, you know, and sort of start out there. And then you just start doodling. Oh, I first wanna say that you have to so quickly but move your hands slowly so you get you'll get the idea when I do it. Ta da see my doodling? Isn't it pretty? But you see if I sewed slowly it would just be big big stitches and you need to just yeah sew quickly so you can move around more freely. Um I'm gonna try the wider stitch like just some zigzag. This is for a millimeter as standard and just so on, then you can see what it's like. Okay, I should probably go slower with my hands so the stitches would be closer. But you get the idea that this is how you machine embroider. Okay. Right, I have taken the other fabric, which I showed you before, the stretchy one where I put the stabilizer on and I've drawn a little figurine well it was there in the beginning as well anyways and I'm gonna try to outline it with the straight stitch and fill it with some other stitches and do some fast forwarding then you can see what it looks like when I'm done okay Now 
I'm gonna do the other half in some uh, what's it called zigzag. <laughs> Okay, now we need to cut off some the excess uh, stabilizer and da 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 put it in water. I need some water, and what you do is just put the thing in the water, and it'll dissolve. Just you could muck about with it and it'll dissolve quicker or just wait 15 minutes but I like to do like this and it's good if it's lukewarm water then it'll be quicker right um, now we have dissolved the dissolving stuffs and this is how it looks while wet. Ta-da! It's all dried up and finished. And now I'll show you some other things I've made. This with some other details and metallic thread. And these are made on uh, solely on soluble uh, stabilizer. So when the when the stabilizer is uh, dissolved, they'll look like this, and they'll be really stiff and all. It's really cool. Can you recognize this one? <laughs>